Hi, I'm Dr. Purvi Bhatt. I am an AFN certified nutritionist and BNY's doctor. Um, I've just completed my master's at King's College London. And um, today with Analytical Minds, I'm going to be having a detailed discussion on startups after BNYS and uh, business queries, you can call them. <laughs> but yeah, these are my opinions. Um, these are my perceptions. Um, this is what I know to be true. But I mean, if you know better, then please go ahead with that. startup after BNYS graduation, what are the pros and cons? Um, you don't need a degree to have a startup. You can do a startup after 10th standard, like there's no stopping you from starting a business. I think what's important is do you have a business plan? Do you have some service that you can offer which no one else is offering? Do you, um, are you good? Are you good at um, different kinds of skills like content writing, marketing, I don't know, I, I'm not a business person in that sense, so I don't know what it entails, but I think a business entails a lot of skills which are far beyond BNYS. So you can't expect a BNYS degree to teach you entrepreneurship. That is an entirely different skill set and um, it can be learned formally, it can be learned informally, but without that, then I don't think any startup is gonna work out for you. If you're just looking at, I wanna have a startup, but you don't have a proper plan about what service you wanna offer. Um, What are the pros and cons? Well, I love being self-employed. My whole life, I told my parents I'll do a nine to five because I always thought that um, I want to work for someone. I don't want the tension, but I don't know how it happened, but I ended up doing my own thing and I love it. And um, I don't see myself wanting to work for anyone else again because the amount of freedom you have in your practice, the amount of, of flexibility you have in your practice and uh, the amount of money you can earn as well is really good in entrepreneurship. Um, but again, the downside is that it's your responsibility, it's your baby, you have to take care of it and um, if things go bad, it's on you, like there's no employer to come and save your ass, I'm sorry for the language, uh, there's no one to come and save you, it's, it's, your, it's your thing and you might have to invest money into it depending on the idea, I don't know what your idea is, but there will be investment costs, there will be risks, there may be months where you don't earn money, I mean, I don't know how it goes, but th these are things that I could see that could potentially be a roadblock. And of course, if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out, you know, then you've just so-called failed or whatever I call it. Um, someone wants to get into a startup business. Should he actually jump into it? Um, I would say there's something in um, design theory. It's called the problem space. Okay, so my dad taught me about this actually. Um, we want to look for solutions, but we don't spend a lot of time thinking about the problem. Okay, so I would say instead of thinking about I want to do a startup, when should I do a startup? You should start thinking, what problem am I trying to solve? Is there anyone else in the market already solving that problem? And how am I going to solve it differently? Like why should someone come to me and not to whoever else is in the market solving the problem? What am I offering that people are willing to pay for? Okay, if you don't have that question set straight, if you don't know what problem you're trying to solve, no matter what solution it is, whether it's acupuncture or you want to start a juice business or whatever it is, if you're not clear what problem you're trying to solve, you're going to be very directionless in your action. So you're just going to be doing random things which are not going to add to your career growth, not going to add to enhancing your business and ultimately it's going to affect your bank balance and success as an entrepreneur as well. Okay, so for me personally, I was working for another company. I quit to do my masters. And as I was quitting my masters, I was getting queries off of Instagram and through my network of people I know that, hey, like, are you taking clients privately? I want to work with you. So I started building up my business organically. I didn't invest any money into my business. And while I was studying, I was doing it. So it reached a point that by the time I finished my masters, it's covering all my expenses. It's taking care of my lifestyle and it's sustaining me, but it happened over a year. It didn't happen overnight. So what I would say is that if you're serious about doing it, firstly, get some clinical exposure, spend some time thinking about what problem you want to solve and keep another job or keep something else on the side and build this side by side so that you have time and you have a source of income till this is set up. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen is that you'll have to take some time off and invest a lot of money or time 
and um it may or may not give you a result because there will be trials and errors i think i have not started a business as as say but like you know i think there will be some risk involved there will be some uh, trial and error involved so yeah like that's about it um do i have any startup ideas honestly i'm not a business person i have no idea but um I just work as a nutritionist. I have my own private practice. Um I get clients mostly either through references which means clients of my clients tell other people or I get them through Instagram which is like the biggest blessing on earth for me because it just means that it gives me a platform to voice my opinions, my thoughts and talk about things the way I want to with complete freedom and um people who like it come to you and sometimes they want to work with you and Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> But I don't have any startup ideas because I'm not like really a business-minded person. I'm more into clinicals. I'm more into working with clients, and that's my passion. So I don't know much about it. <laughs>